two, three. There we go. It's working. <laughs> Yay! Hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> welcome to everybody. Yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you for waiting for us. We've had some technical issues. Anyway, so a huge, huge welcome. We managed to get the tech working. I'm Yay. so excited Yay. <laughs> to be introducing Mandy Morris to everybody in the Helix Metro community. Oh, Mandy, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about who you are and how you help people? Yes. Um, well, I'm the, and I'm, this is so, so big for me. I'm so proud to be the first accredited advanced helix method mentor and um the helix method has helped me sort of define who i am and it's helped me with who i help and i like to help women who are uh, on their spiritual journey on their healing journey uh, and just to be able to connect to themselves and to really pinpoint who they are have that soul connection and have the tools in their tool toolbox to help their clients mm. you know so uh yeah that's uh that's what I do <laughs> <laughs> and you're magic at what you do and thank you. thank you so much for for coming and sharing your your journey with us and I wanted to take it some time to kind of you know introduce um the mentors to our fabulous community and I thought it's only right to kick off with with you as the first because you are the first certified one so it's, it's thank fabulous you. to to have that sort of um knowledge you know know that I've, I've been at first at something <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it that you were reflecting that it was two years since yeah um we started just before it's we incredible before we jumped on live yeah uh, so if you can remember <laughs> going back what was your reason for, for for saying yes and and doing the helix method certification well I mean I'd, I'd been on your like five day uh live um classes that you do which I mean they just really spoke to me and I just loved your energy and you would you were just so you know open and understanding and everything and um and then I did the wealth portal and that was just like mind-blowing as 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 a standalone program that you do and um, and then you uh told us all about the helix method and I didn't even have to read all the details I just <laughs> knew it was something special that you were going to be delivering to us and and it was you know your your first time of offering it and the the depth that you can go into and the releases that you can do on a personal level and when you experience that for yourself and then you're able to offer it for other people because I'd done work on other um other um modalities that's the word I was looking for and I'd, I'd done quite a few before uh, coming to to the helix method and I still found stuff that was holding me back that was blocked that hadn't been released mm -hmm. and it's just that depth that you can go to and then when you've done the work on yourself and and you you've got clients you know that you are really getting to the bottom of it all and I think I likened it um, the other day to like you know when you've got a spot <laughs> <laughs> and you're like you're squeezing it and you it's almost like you're cleansing all of it out you're healing it and you're like sewing it up and mm -hmm. it's healed and you know you're not not at, gonna have to revisit whatever it is that you're healing oh yes it's so deep powerful. level and I've said to you before it's like a box of magic tricks it really is Yes, yes, I love it. Thank you so much for speaking to that. I think that's one of the things that a lot of the mentors have reflected is around the, the depth of being able to go to this. And, Absolutely. Um, you know, you know, in the community, we've got people who, like yourself, have trained in other modalities and are wanting to grow and develop and continue that 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 journey and others who are newer. And this yes. is their first sort of yes. soul calling to you know understanding and training in an energy psychology modality and my intention was to get everything set up so whether you're newer on your journey or you know got some experiences that you've got everything in place so that you really understand the, the foundational pieces and going on to the advanced stuff so you can go can go deep exactly yeah and um I've I mean 
unbelievably, it's two years ago when we started together on this journey uh, of the Helix method. And I had people uh, asking me, um, do you think I should do blah, blah, blah modality or should I just do the Helix? And I went, just do the Helix because you, you, you're speeding yourself up by doing the Helix because you've got so many tools and so many different things in there. And I just like the depth of what, you know, that you can go to with your clients and yourself. Mm. So key. I think one of the things that I wanted with for, for people was to be able to, whilst we've got a whole range of ways of working under the, you know, energy psychology, different techniques that come underneath yes. the, the Helix method is to be able to, for people to be able to, to use this in their business with their clients within sort of 60 days of starting the program. So whilst the container is there for you know, a year, you're in the in the sort of first year, you've got that full support. I mean, people can yes. come back and, and and join in, you know, anytime that they they want from that if they're wanting a top up. But that first year, the container is there to support people because like you say about going yes. deep is you, you don't know when the complex -ish case is going to come in. <laughs> and that's the thing that you were saying about being in the container and being in the community. You've got other people who are doing the certification who have certified and may have those experiences and you can ask those questions and I've seen several people asking this has happened that has happened and that expands your own awareness of how it's been dealt with and and you can ask questions and it you need that support as well yes it's yeah I love all the love and contribution that everyone yeah. gives each other in the community it's amazing it you know it just gives me such such goosebumps so I'll come in and I'll see that someone's asked a question and others have jumped in and contributed and saying hey I'm up for practicing with you if you Absolutely. want to do this yeah. stuff and yeah. it's yeah oh, it's just so wonderful to to see that that just there's just love oozing out of everybody in the community and it's um you know when you start explaining it to um like potential clients and um you know, and I say, well, you know, I'm a Helix Method mentor, and they go, oh, what does that mean? And you explain it, and they were, oh, it sounds like I could do with some of that. And then you start working with people. And I think I mentioned to you earlier, I worked with a lady who, you know, I thought she was, um, you know, further ahead in business than I am. And she was holding on to something that had been holding her back and holding her down for most of her life. And she'd tried other modalities, not been able to release what she'd been. And it, it was almost like a struggle for her to try and release it. And I did an hour and a half session with her in the Helix method. And she just felt completely different. And it's been released. Yay. And, so you know, you're then creating that space for something new. So, uh, you know, the advice was then to really feel into what you want. And it's it's almost like for myself as well. I, I was explaining this to you before. I thought I knew who I was mm -hmm. until, you know, the last year or so my mother passed. And then I realized by using the tools that I'd become who my mother wanted me to be. And that was just a huge re uh, revelation for me and and it was almost like oh expletives what do I do now and then I thought oh my god I've got the tools in the helix the identity I can create my my own identity and then you've got that amazing connection to the higher self so you can talk to your higher self and say right who am I yes what am I here to be what am I here to do when you think you've got it all sorted and then boom something happens you don't fall apart you have these tools to really really support you and they're there for life and it's mm. just incredible what a big shift to happen like when after your mother passing to to recognize like whoa all yes. this programming in our identities because we yeah. are so used to living from that identity that yeah. often we don't question it no, um, no, and it no, drives, no. our identity drives everything you know yeah, terms of absolutely and uh you know to have that and then the future visualization 
you know, because your soul does want more for you. That's mm -hmm. sort of your driving force, isn't it? And, you know, you want to create a, a life that you love. And sometimes because of the old programming um, on different levels, you know, the soul, the genetic, the core, the past life, the transgenerational stuff, sometimes you don't realize it's there. And I know from the work that I've done in the Helix Method that there was stuff still stuck on some of those levels when you think you've released stuff and that's what was keeping you stuck. And then you've got that tool to go to clients with and you, you realize Oh, and your intuition just goes boom. And they, oh, they've got this on the genetic level and they might have. And it's almost like a, a natural flow when you've used, you've expanded yourself out with the tools that you you work with in the Helix. So exciting, Mandy. Thank you so much for, for, for sharing all of this. And I know you've had some incredible results your your clients have had some incredible results you know with yes uh, i um i i i took the um the the wealth codes that you i mean you, you provide us with like three ready made programs that we can tweak and i i i'm a theta healer as well so i added a few like theta healing downloads in there as well um and you know you do the work from the wealth codes and one lady that was on the, the programme with me, she doubled her income in eight weeks. That's fantastic. Love you it. Know, so yeah. uh, it's it's phenomenal stuff. And the 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 depth of questions that you've got in there, you know, I, I don't think I could think of those questions. So, you know, and it's great for us to revisit because, you know, as you say, your your ceiling then becomes your floor because you're you're up leveling as well completely completely and thank you so much for speaking to that because the so we get those results with the wealth portal as well which is mm. essentially the, the wealth codes within the the helix method yeah. for the mentors to be able to take and to use in its entirety or to take you know yeah. uh, modules that they want all the cats just come to join us modules <laughs> that they want um to their, add to, their, to, to their you know if they've already got programs in place which they may have if they're further along in in business but that is just I see it time and time again when people mm. run, the, run the wealth codes is is people being able to have that increase in income and just being able to step into that new level of worthiness and deservingness. And, and like you were saying, absolutely. finding the things that have been unseen. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That you're like, what's going on? Why? Why is this? Why is this feeling so sticky? Exactly. And I had a lady as well who had been made redundant and she was really fearful about finding another job and what when we'd worked through the the whole of the wealth codes she was so much more relaxed and also the, it's that worthiness thing mm. she because I mean redundancy can have a huge impact on you and she came out to the other end knowing that she was worthy of a better job and higher salary I mean that's phenomenal isn't it yeah you know your, your worthiness mm. has uh I mean and we we've all got that wound had that wound to some extent you know some of us greater than others depending on the programming we've received growing up and the societal programming um and then you she she worked through the program and she just gave herself to it fully she was amazing and she came out the other end feeling worthy of a better job and she was she didn't feel enough when she was in her previous posts mm. so when you get made redundant then that is a that's like a confirmation isn't it yeah it's very traumatic actually redundancy for people yeah I feel like you have your rug unless you've managed to negotiate it like I did when I was leaving yeah it's exactly. like it's what I wanted yeah. um, but um it's it's very traumatic it uh, is but for people uh, I used to have to lead redundancies across when I was working for social services and that was not fun having to go in no, and no. give people notice and recognizing like you know this is people's lives you know got exactly. more and rents to pay and people to family members to look after and of course then and what kicks in as well like, like you were talking about um previously Mandy is your identity it's like well then who am I if yeah I've got this even if I'm not happy here and I'm not feeling worthy here and I'm yeah. not deserving here. It's like then, oh my God, who am I? Exactly. And yeah. That's what's happening on the subconscious, subconscious. Yeah. Level. And you know, it's that transition. I mean, for me, I left, you know, 25, nearly 30 years of 
secondary school teaching in December. And I went straight into like delivering my um, my wealth codes program. And it just brought me so much joy to to deliver it. And I, I used your you know, you give us the model of the five day, the five day classes. And it's just an amazing structure to have to to remodel and put your own mm. uh, your own twist into it. And, uh, you know, I just went through that and and I had people sign up. So, yay! It was, I remember it was, you messaging me saying I've just doubled my income. It's so exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, for me, over the last three or more months, well, since January, really, really um, navigating the 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 decline of my mother's health and then her passing that's sort of put a, a slowed me down a bit but I don't think I would have navigated that as well if I didn't have these tools so yeah. um you know and and then knowing how to sort of recharge yourself re recreate yourself <laughs> and then it's it's almost you you're not scared of starting again yeah Mandy, that's huge. That is so huge. Yeah. It's so difficult, isn't it, when family members pass over? It's such a lot to navigate emotionally. And it is. I mean, um, mm -hmm. and I think people that know me know I haven't had an easy relationship with my mother. Um, and But through all of the work that I've done, I've managed to grow myself and, and feel worthy and find the self-love with the self-love uh, codes and know that I can come from a place of compassion and you know you know the mirrors and magnets thing the the, the triggers all right well that's something that I need to look at that I'm not uh, I haven't healed yet so it's an opportunity for healing for sure it it does transform you this this program I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sharing, sharing all your experiences. What would you say to someone who's thinking about certifying as a as a Helix Method mentor? Um, I would. I think I've said this before, if you're on the fence, get off it on the right side into the Helix, because um, I mean, it was a no brainer for me. And I had done some other intensive work on other modalities. But it, it's the the realizations that you get. It's the community that you create with other people in in the in, in the Helix method that I sort of missed out on when you're doing other mm -hmm. uh, modalities. And um, it's the depth. I I can't get this across enough. It's the depth that you can go to so that you really do serve your clients with these tools to the depth that you would want for yourself um, and you know they're going to go singing your praises off the rafters for the work that you've done oh thank you so much for speaking that and it's so exciting you know I hear people uh, what I love as well is people will then tell me or, I'll, or they'll come back oh, they'll, somehow I'll be in a conversation and they'll be like yeah I work with Mandy Morris of the Helix Method wow yeah. <laughs> and uh it's it's just so exciting to to see the the success that you're having you, you know, know and, it, and you know you've got to take some of that accolade yourself because when you say to people oh I'm a helix method mentor and it was created by Louisa Havers oh Louisa Havers she's amazing and, <laughs> you know and you, you you back us up as well you know so you've got that credibility where you know because people know you too so Oh, bless you. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. It's just so exciting. And I'm so excited for, you know, what's next for you and your business. And you know, I'm the, I'm definitely got... looking forward to it. So I, I mean, I've got the wealth codes and I'm I'm creating a longer program now. So a six or maybe even a 12 month program yes. to support yes. people. That's fantastic. So your clients can come on in a on a journey with you. Yeah. And you I know, sometimes find that um, you know, if it's if people are just starting out, they need that sort of longer support. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mandy, this is fantastic. And you mentioned earlier around, um, you know, blind spots and being able to go deeper. So one of the things that I know when people are thinking about um, a program is that they want to go off and muscle test on their own. And there are a few yeah. things that can come up 
So I did want to call this out because the yeah. subconscious is very, very sneaky and it knows everything and it knows how to keep you in the same spot. How to keep you in the same spot, whether it's for your re- revenue growth, yeah. in your relationships and all the things. So I know for those of you that are thinking about the program, you're going to want to go and muscle test on joining, whether you join the program or not. And you, and you absolutely should. You know, I, I will do muscle testing for this as well. But it's really important to make an aligned decision. So here's what can happen because you want to watch out for this is so mm-hmm. that you can get an accurate, accurate answer, because otherwise the subconscious is going to give you what one reading. Your higher self is going to be trying to give you another reading. Yeah. Yeah. So your soul might be saying yes, and your subconscious is programmed just to keep you in same. So you're going to get a no. So when you're doing the muscle testing, when you're thinking about making energetically aligned decisions, this is absolutely key because you can ask a question in a certain way, then the answer is going to be a no. For example, if, it's, if it's, is this my next best step, you might get a no because of the resistance that you have to the result that you would have. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, and so and I do see this a lot where people will think they've got no resistance to something and then I work with them because I really understand the art of the subtle art of muscle testing and this is what we dive mm. deep with and that's the other thing you've muscles. you've got how how the muscle testing how the sway can be so different and you can move in different ways and sometimes we don't understand that and you give us these explanations so I just wanted to add that in there thank you yes it's not just yes or no that's what we're talking about here there's so much more that goes on yeah absolutely when people are going what's happened I've just done this weird shape and I'm like all right we know what's happening there yeah absolutely (laughs) So yeah, thank you for 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 sharing that. So it you know there is a real art, a subtle art, as I call it, to the, the art of muscle testing. And um, you know, because what can happen is that you'll get a no to is this my next best step for whatever it might be that you're looking at. But actually, there's the resistance, the energetic imprint, the belief, the emotion, whatever it might be that's creating the resistance to, to the result of you having that thing. And so it's really important to clear that before you ask if this is your highest next step so just to speak to this for a moment so people can you know if the muscle test is is this my next best step to certify as a helix method mentor is these are my top tips for you is to align your levels of consciousness as we did in the in the master class of making sure that you're in your heart space clear clear the resistance before asking if this is in your highest interest so some questions you can muscle test on is uh, when say the misstatements or questions i have got resistance to doing the helix method certification i have got resistance to investing money in myself because that one can come up for, mm. for people um, i have got resistance to having the result <laughs> this is the it's the resistance beyond the resistance yeah. i have got the resistance to having the results to becoming a helix method um mentor um i've got resistance to having the results i will create in in the certification and then this one can come up as well for people is I have got a fear of failure creating resistance to becoming a, a Helix Method mentor. So it's, it can be just that overall fear of failure of changing. So the subconscious is holding you, hold, locking you in, going, right, we don't want him to move. <laughs> he or she to move. Yeah. So we're going to, to, to create that, that, um, that block. And then you can ask, can I clear this resistance? And then just simply doing it as I was guiding you through in the, in the um, masterclasses, I'm, saying it out loud once twice internally so you can go within um it helps you to change that state as you're going in and holding the frequency longer so i'm ready to release this resistance i'll just use this as an example to becoming a helix method mentor and having more success in my life i clear this across all dimensions planes time Mm. levels of consciousness and then then ask (laughs) is this next step in my highest interest and then you'll have that clearer reading I hope that makes sense. And this will be really helpful for just being, you know, confident that you're making aligned decisions for any any time you're making decisions and you're wanting yeah. to, to use muscle testing. Um, I really wanted to speak to that because I've had a few people that have, it's become apparent when I've ended up talking to them, they're like, oh no, I muscle tested on this and then I'll share this. And they're like, no, I've just realized I've held myself back um, when they were thinking about some, something else. Um, so it was relevant for them. So I was like, oh, right, I must uh, must share that for people here. And then bring in the alignment so that you're, you know, creating that frequency is, and something like, you know, I make aligned decisions for my highest interest and I allow more success in my life when I receive this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of, levels of consciousness. So that, doing that is going to help you make aligned decisions 
or whatever decision mm-hmm. that you're yeah. that you're making. So I just wanted to speak to that for everyone who's listening. That and that's just an example, Louisa, of how deep you go with within the helix method. I mean, there are so many. If I if I try and think about oh, there's this this technique, or I won't say technique, but the, this awareness, that awareness, and thinking there are so many that you go so deep in and you help us discover ourselves and what is holding us back and the realization of what how the subconscious can trick us you know so sneaky yeah because it and you know at the end of the day it just wants to keep us safe but it's it's then it creating that safety it's like those rings isn't it the next level of safety is in the the, the not feeling safe area that then that becomes the safe area then the, the next bit becomes the safe area so you allow yourself to to become who you really came here to be yeah oh Mandy you said that so beautifully <laughs> that's exactly it we all I think we all want to evolve and to become more of who we are and discover aspects of ourselves and to uh, feel that freedom you know outside of the outside of the programming yeah yeah absolutely to allow more of our soul through oh I could chat to you forever (laughs) (laughs) thank you so much for you know coming and joining us for this conversation to to today and can I just say one more thing please do I mean we were reflecting on like this is I mean I started with you two years ago um and I'd like to speak to the fact that you don't keep it as it was. You add more things in as they become, uh, as, as you download them or other people have these awarenesses in there and you add it to the programme. So it's not this programme that stays as it, as, as it is. It's, it's not the same programme from like two years ago when I started because it's evolved, it's grown, it's, it's even bigger now than... Than before because you add those awarenesses into the program and I you know I go into my portal and say oh there's a new thing there <laughs> you know so you keep adding to it so uh, as you know with with certain modalities there there are um th- they sort of stay the same unless someone else comes along and adds their flavor to it but with you you add these things in as as you've moved along, I can't believe it's two years, but no, know. You know, we realised that we're like, what time warp have we been in? <laughs> um, but it, it allow you you allow it to evolve. You don't you you don't keep it. Oh, it's got to stay like this. Mm. It's 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 added on and added on, and and that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. I'm so glad yeah. that I want it to be the gift that keeps on giving for people. And... Well, it is that. It's that um, little box of magic. <laughs> oh, and it, it's amazing what, you know, can I, I get guidance and work with clients and have new new ways of working with clients that come through all the time. Mm. Um, and so I, I, I just want to, to share that with everybody so that they can uh, benefit from that as well within the program. So thank you for sharing that. Oh, so thank you so much, Mandy. I know you're in the group, so everybody can connect with you. And yeah, absolutely. You. If you've got any questions, um, you know, so, uh, I mean, for me, it it was, I just knew, and and, and if you're a, a Claire, I'm not a Claire Cognizant, um, that's not my strength, but that was one moment that I knew it, it was the next part of my my development. So, yeah, it was an easy yes for me. Oh, thank you for, for, for being you and for all your love and contribution to everybody in the community. I know everyone absolutely it's adores you. Thank you. So grateful to you. And you too. Thank you, Louisa. And, uh, you. you know, get off the fence and get in the programme. <laughs> it does change your life. It does. Oh, thank you. And thank you, everyone, who's taken the time to listen to our conversation and join in. We'll circle back and uh, answer any questions in the comments and say hello. <laughs> Um, and till till our next conversation sending you all so much love take care thank you bye